Hi everybody, uh, this is Shayla and I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who is out there and I know that everybody is feeling really anxious right now and and that's why I decided to you know just start talking with people to reach whoever I can reach I know I'm not the only one feeling the way I'm feeling and um, for whoever doesn't know uh, say for the past week since so you know things that is happening in the world and things escalated and shutdowns and jobs lost and everything collapsing and just um, the the build up of anxiety has been just increasing and it's normal like we all have our ups and downs you know and we all keep hope you know and in any time you know any time in life you always have challenges but this one just feels so out of control like there is nothing we can do it feels like we are tight like our hands are wrapped and it's like there's nothing we can do nothing to to help to to stop you know to make the world go to normal and last night i was feeling so hopeless it was like you know the whole week i've been kind of falling and falling and falling and falling and then i reached like the bottom of the bottom of the bottom and i just couldn't stop crying for hours and and you just that build up that sometimes you know if you sad a little bit and then you cry it goes away but it just wasn't stopping and i just wanted to scream but it was like late night so obviously you can just go on screaming i tried to call some friends but obviously it was too late so i cut try to call friends overseas you know but uh yeah it was just kind of an odd time and i think it's those times they're like you so wrecked that and then like the more you try to do something you want to talk to someone i can't find and just kind of builds up and it just feels like more suffocating and i just wanted to scream i couldn't scream so i posted about my you know hopelessness online because i was literally i was screaming on the inside and i was suffocating like i couldn't breathe uh it was just it was like i thought i was gonna pass out or something because it wouldn't stop and and it's almost like if you choke and then, you know, uh, you want to let it out, whatever is choking you, you know. But in this case, it's just, it's not like, you know, you swallow like, you know, a grape, whatever, you know. It's just, it's just this pain choking. And, and I just want to say thank you for everybody who reached out, you know, and sending very lovely messages and people that call and... And, you know, I felt like I had, like, you know, so many sessions of therapies in one day. So, thank you so much. And mostly, I just want to to reach out for people. Um, when these things happen, because it happens, and I think the worst part is that we feel guilty, that we feel sad, that we're in pain, that we want to cry and we want to scream and... We lost hope, you don't know what to do anymore, you know, we just lost the plot, really. And what I want to reach out and tell my friends and all of you that I don't know yet is that it's normal. It's part of being human, like we feel these things, you know, we just feel it. And, and I know that there are like, you know, a lot of talk out there about depression and then if you tell someone oh my god i'm sad you know i'm depressed they will, and if you tell a doctor they offer medication and and, and i know and I'm, I'm not a doctor and i know that there are cases that some people medically you know have a, something chemical and then they need medication and but i don't think that we need medication for everything we just need friends we need to be we need love we need to communicate you know we need to let out of our chest and I think mostly uh, we cannot be ashamed. I think being ashamed is the, the worst. Like, it's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. Like, to call a friend and then you are crying, you can't even talk, you know? And then you can't even explain, you know? And then 
it's very, very, very embarrassing. But, but it shouldn't be. And we shouldn't be ashamed of our emotions. And, and quite the contrary, like we have to adapt because the more people kind of lock it in, block, you know, and of course, like we all want to be happy, be cheerful and be positive and put a smile on our face, you know, but when shit, you know, hits the fan right now and when everything's a wreck, and the wreck makes you feel like, you know, with this bomb inside that's going to fucking blow any time, you know, and it's just like you lose control of yourself. It's normal. Don't feel ashamed. And I think uh, reaching out for, for your friends is probably the best, as embarrassing as it is, but we cannot do this alone. We just can't. And we need to know there are people out there you know, we need to connect with people and especially with this whole, you know, like, oh, isolation, whatever, you can't go out. And I suppose, especially on my circle, that most of my friends all over the world, we are all artists and we all, like, we, as artists, we just, we already have this nature, the way we wired, like, that we're so intense, our minds are always, you no know, crazy and... We like to live in fantasy world and we love to connect with other people and we love stories and we love we just have this extra intensity you know like this extra way to feel things even more so i want to reach out to even more like to all of you and to let you know you're not alone you know and don't feel ashamed for feeling sad or to feel anxious you know and and reach out. Most of you have me either on Facebook or Instagram. You have my phone number. And if you ever feel like that feeling that you need to scream, you need to reach out to someone, you need to say, hey, I just need to talk with a human being that I know that will understand me, you know, and I just need to talk let it out of my chest so I don't pass out of a suffocation, please call me. You know, if I miss the call, I will always call back. If I get your message somewhere, I will always answer. If you, I don't have your number, you don't have my number, if you want to send your number, I will call you. Uh, if you're somewhere else in the world, I can call you on WhatsApp. I really want to let you know you're not alone. And I'm very grateful today for everybody that told me that I'm not alone. You know, and I... Whoever is out there feeling the same way, please know you are not alone. And together we can win this fucking shit happening in the world, you know? And it's fucking hard. And sorry for the story, but it's the only way. Sorry, I guess I got a funny nose now. I don't have the fucking C, by the way. I don't even want to say the name out loud, you know? And I've been sharing everywhere, like, videos that talk about how to boost your immune system you know and uh how to keep your mind positive and meditation so uh even on my link on my instagram i put you know instead of putting my links for my work whatever i've been putting links of people i like listening such as dr joe Dispenza or abraham higgs or aaron um Doughty. i don't know how to say his surname and so i will continue sharing uh all the positive thinking you know that's all we can do and I'll co continue sharing um, positive messages that I will not give up. I think what happened yesterday, I was feeling hopeless. I felt like whatever I was doing, you know, was kind of, you know, pointless and everything felt pointless. And I guess we all have that stage where you feel, you know, what can I do? But I realized that like we all, we all, we all need a purpose, you know, and as much as all our lives go entirely upside down right now and but it's, it's going to pass like my my friend amazing friend thank you Avi for calling today and you know that was amazing like we talked for like I don't know how hour and, and he reminded me that this will pass and we are going to get out of it you know transformed we're going to grow and get stronger and it will pass and 
I forgot what I was saying, but I just want to say mostly you're not alone, we can do this. Oh, before I forget, which I've been telling people on you know, emails, whatever emails I need to write, which I haven't wrote too much lately. But uh, if you can switch off the news, maybe go online, read emergency stuff, you know, for like two minutes, what I need to know. But the, the best, like... They can keep to keep like your mind sane, like just don't watch all that shit because it's just poison, it's just noise. I noticed the other day at a supermarket, uh, they had on the speakers like saying, Oh, these are the new roles, don't leave the house for these and that, and 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 that's the safety. And saying no, the fucking scene name, maybe like two seconds. No, I was like, It just started to get on my nerves again because I don't want to listen to that shit, like we know. We don't need to be reminded every two seconds, you know, and, and and yeah, I get really passionate about it. Just it's not doing any good for anyone, you know. It feels like we almost they brainwashing people to get sick because they keep repeating their fucking name every fucking two seconds, you know. So I don't want to hear it. So today I had to go to the supermarket again. I was like, okay, I don't want to get to the supermarket. Like I used to love shopping. Like I love food, you know, love love food and. That's always like the highlight of my day. And yeah, you can laugh, it's pathetic. You know, like I love going to the supermarket and buying food and fantasizing what I'm gonna cook for dinner. It's like, it's like how I relax. I'm not a party person, you know, I like to work and be productive, creative. And then, um, but then like the joy of, the super of going to the supermarket ended weeks ago when there is not much food to buy anyway. So let's not even go there. But then now when you get there, you know, you see this whole, Thing, you know, it's just like a nightmare, you know, all this, this rules and whatever. And then they keep repeating the thing in the speakers. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna put my headphones, I'm gonna put some really cool music. I'm going to pretend I am in a movie, you know, I just it's like my body's going to be there, but my mind is not gonna be there, you know. It was hard for the mind not to be there because all the rules and all the signs and all the writings, you know, are everywhere, like you can't run from it. But the music made a little bit better, you know. So, um, yeah, so focus on things that bring joy, you know. And I think the best way is if we can, instead of thinking of all the shit that is happening right now, and, yeah, we still have to deal with it and, you know, find the solutions for all the problems that it's creating and, you know, stay alive, whatever. But um, focus on, like, those times ahead, you know, what you want to do, what you want to travel. If you're a filmmaker like me, if you're a writer, an actor, you know which movies you're gonna make, start writing and just think ahead, the time ahead. I think that's that's always not the best way in life to think of, you know, the goals and start doing something like, you know, start writing, start making notes and really start working on those things. So to use this time to be creative. And but yeah, so I will stop here, but I'll keep doing this thing more often, you know, to get in touch with everybody and i know there are more people out there like me you know who are just like kind of you know uh yeah feeling things overly sensitive about this whole thing so you're not alone and please feel free to reach out and i'm always here i love people i'm a people's person and that's no extra reason why this is like such a suffocating stuff because i love being out in the world you know like just around people, I love people, you know, I'm the kind of person I go to cafes, I talk with the waitresses and I talk to someone sitting next to me, you know, and I just love, you know, it's part of life, like, you know, people, and, and that's our nature, like, we are social people, we, and some people are introverted, you know, and probably it's a bit easier if you're introverted, but if you're an extroverted, this is probably hell, and, but we can get through this, and reach out, thank you, thank you.